Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today is July 12th. This is my third wave of tomatoes and these are a little bit different than what I start, you know, back in, uh, say, February, March. These are all dwarf tomatoes. They're only going to get somewhere between 12 and 18 inches and I wanted to talk about these varieties because anybody can grow these and you can grow them just in a container like this, a flower box that's maybe 10 inches deep. Um, this has three tomatoes in here, so let me just start with these. These are all determinate varieties, first of all, which means they'll get to a set size, flower, and they'll set fruit over a couple week period, and then the plant will die out just like this. So this die out is perfectly normal. This is the tiny Tim tomato. They get about 12 inches tall, and they take about 60 days to mature. And again, these are all determinate variety tomatoes. And you can see the plant really got to about this size, and it set a lot of fruit, and there's probably I don't know, I probably will get 30 to 40, maybe a little bit more cherry tomatoes off of this plant. So you put in three plants into a box like this, you get well over 100 cherry tomatoes. You can really grow them pretty easily in any type container. To set up your soil, you want at least 50% peat moss or 50% cocoa core, some sort of organic matter that will absorb water. And in this you can actually just buy the moisture control topsoil or moisture control soils that you buy in bags at like Lowe's or Home Depot and put that in there. I would set this up with about three or four tablespoons of 10-10-10 fertilizer. You could go organic, you could go chemical, but you want to set this up. And I would also put in um, maybe two tablespoons or a handful of lime in here. You want calcium to be in your soil. Container tomatoes often are um, hit by blossom end rot, which really means it's not a disease, but blossom end rot is when the tomato can't get calcium out of the soil or you don't have calcium in the soil. So the lime will put calcium in there. And then you want to water this um, regularly, of course, but you want to feed it at least every two weeks with a liquid fertilizer. I do recommend a well-balanced liquid fertilizer like miracle Grow. If you don't like that company, pick another fertilizer. But these fertilizers have uh, the N, P, and K, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and all the microelements. Tomatoes in these type of containers really suck the life out of the soil, so you really want to be putting in a liquid feed at least every two weeks. But that's just a general principle. But these were the Tiny Tim Three tomatoes, they take about 60 days, and I'll be harvesting all of these off there. And they look good. They're not super sweet. They're sweet. They're really, really worth it. But these are nice tomatoes. Some of them are a little bit cracked, but that's okay. Really nice tomatoes. Other ones that I'm setting up are the totem. This is a 70-day tomato that will get 10 to 12 inches tall. And again, these are cherry types. This is a bush. 506 bush and I'm going to probably just leave two plants in there, but this again will only get to um, 18 inches, maybe a little bit taller. Here is a red robin. This takes 55 days. So if you notice, this is 55 days, this was 60 days, 70 days, 62 days. So you still have time in July if you have enough warmth to go at least another 60, 80 days. So this one again will get to eight, actually only eight to 12 inches tall. So this is even smaller. And this is a tumbler variety determinant that is already taller than these. This will get, I think to about two feet, but it'll drape over the container and this only takes 45 days. So you can grow cherry type tomatoes in containers about this size and in anywhere from 45 to 60 days you can have masses of cherry tomatoes. So I hope this gives you an idea to uh, think about trying uh, container tomatoes that are dwarves on your patio, on your deck. I wouldn't really do them in a garden. I think uh, pests and disease will get to them pretty quickly. But something up here away from the earth beds, uh, hanging baskets, you can really grow nice crops of cherry type tomatoes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.